Hey guys, thanks for watching. In this series of core trunk abdominal stuff, we've told you why you shouldn't do abdominal crunches and instead switch it up and do anti-rotation, anti-flexion stuff. We're gonna show you the next progression in the series of anti-rotation, anti-flexion. It's called the ab wheel. You can buy these at your local sporting goods store around 11 to $14, depending on the store. This is your best friend when it comes to abdominal training. Here's what happens. You get yourself in a solid position. You're locked in. Let me show you the move. So from here, I'm gonna start on your knees, which is the easiest of the ab wheel progressions. It's still pretty hard. Um, what you're gonna do is you're locked in with your shoulders and your arms. You don't pull with your shoulders. All of the pulling comes from your midsection. Okay, now I'm gonna do a full ab wheel. What you're gonna do is, Another common mistake people make is they keep their bum high up in the air. No. You're going to drop your midsection and lead with your pelvis. And what that does is then you're going to allow this wheel to roll on out. Maintaining hold on to it. Remember I said you don't pull with your upper arms? What you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to use your midsection to pull back. The only thing that moves is your hips. Your hips are going to drive to the ground. Your hips are going to come back. This is the move. We're here. We're locked in. I'm leading with my hips. I'm driving my hips to the ground. I'm coming. I'm going to kiss the floor. And instead of jerking with my lower back, see, I'm not jerking with my arms. I'm coming up with my lower back. You're going to get back into the top position. And now, if you can't come all the way to the ground, play with the distances. You're going to come up here in the top position. You're going to put this wheel by your forehead. And then you're going to try to go six inches deeper. And then you're going to try to go six inches deeper until you can come all the way to the ground and all the way to the top. And then you can do partials. Now that move works your shoulders and your triceps too because everything along the chain is going to try to get you to bottom out. See, that was a fake bottom out, but you'll know when you do this move, you might crash to the ground. Try to keep your back nice and straight. Your bum's not high up in the air. Your butt's not sagging. You're strong through the midsection. You're rolling this out. Your back is nice and straight. Oh, I gotta come back because I'm about to go off the edge over there into the the bottom. So you're here, you're all the way out, and your core is strong, and then you're going to come back up. That's the ab wheel. One important thing to know about anti-rotation, anti-flexion stuff, you might start to feel it in your lower back. Chances are it's because your form is a little bit improper, or your lower back is just that weak. A lot of people's lower backs are very weak, so when they do maneuvers that are testing the strength of that entire trunk, uh, your abs can take it, but your lower back is the first thing that screams out uncle. It's the first thing that taps out. We want to strengthen that lower back so that it's strong through the entire chain and you're going to start getting really strong abdominals. Your squats are going to get better. Your overhead presses are going to get better because you have such a stronger base. That trunk of yours is going to be so much stronger, you can pile things on top of it and it's not going to have an energy gap. It's going to be stronger. So, if you start to feel it in your lower back, take a step away, relax, rest it out, but your lower back's gonna get much stronger and then you're gonna be warp speed ahead to get rid of some of the other moves.